a challenge for the next generation of explorers, an eye-popping virtual tour of the moon, and introducing the public to a universe of discovery. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. The 24th Annual Human Exploration Rover Challenge kicked off on April 13th in Huntsville, Alabama. The two-day competition hosted by our Marshall Space Flight Center challenges students to build and test human-powered roving vehicles inspired by the Apollo lunar missions as well as plans for future missions to the moon, Mars, and beyond. The competition routinely includes teams from the continental U.S., Puerto Rico, and countries such as Brazil, Germany, India, and Mexico. A five-minute virtual tour of the moon by our Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter mission has been recreated in eye-popping 4K resolution. The tour visits a number of lunar sites. Some are on the moon's near side and are familiar to both professional and amateur observers on Earth, while others can only be seen clearly from space. Our scientists, engineers, and other experts introduce the public to a universe of discovery at the USA Science and Engineering Festival April 7th and 8th in Washington, D.C. Interactive activities and presentations helped festival attendees learn about exoplanets, CubeSats, the James Webb Space Telescope, deep space exploration, and more. How many sunrises and sunsets do you see in the course of a day? Actor Will Smith, the host of the National Geographic Channel documentary One Strange Rock, chatted with our astronaut Drew Feustel for the first Instagram Live from the International Space Station. We pick up 16 sunrises and sunsets. It takes me an hour and a half to get around the planet once. Wow. The event ran on Smith and Nat Geo's Instagram accounts. Our digital communications efforts to bring you last year's total solar eclipse, Cassini's grand finale, and other events not only made 2017 our biggest year yet for online engagement, but also have earned us nominations for six Webby Awards, the highest honor for online communications. The nominations are for NASA websites and social media activity. For more details about the nominations and to learn how to vote, go to nasa.gov slash webby18. Jim Green, our Director of Planetary Science, has been named as the agency's new Chief Scientist effective May 1st. He succeeds Acting Chief Scientist Gail Allen, who is retiring after more than 30 years of government service. Green will represent the agency's strategic science objectives and contributions to the national and international science communities and advise the administrator on agency science policy. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.